In this chapter you will learn which diagnostics functions are available in the TIA portal. One thing is certain, a whole range of very different faults can occur in a plant. The TIA portal offers you various ways of diagnosing these faults. These include the integrated system diagnostics, for example, or the trace function for rapid localization of sporadic faults. The web server for performing diagnostics from any web-enabled device. Or the teleservice for troubleshooting wherever you are as though you were on site. The system diagnostics are automatically set up when a device is configured. You don't need to write even a single line of code. In the case of an open circuit, for example, the device automatically detects the fault and sends the diagnostics data to the assigned controller. The controller then displays the fault message on all the display media. This means that you can localize the fault very quickly and resolve it immediately. How is that done in the TIA portal? System diagnostics are activated as standard for controllers from the Sematic S7-1500 family. In order to view diagnostics information via the TIA portal, you must set up an online connection to the controller. The symbols in the project navigation and the network view give you an initial overview of the status of your devices. To find out more information about a faulty device, double-click on it. In the device view, faulty modules are marked with a red branch symbol. Click on this to navigate to the diagnostics view for the device, where you will find all the information about the fault. Alternatively, system diagnostics messages can also be displayed via the inspector window. In addition to this, the diagnostics message also appears on the display of the S7-1500 and in the system diagnostics display on the operating device. The trace function is mainly used for localizing faults that occur sporadically. In the past, analyzing errors involved wiring and monitoring each individual device separately. Now, the trace function does this task for you in the TIA portal. Simply specify the binary and analog variables of the device that you want to record in the trace configuration. The trace is then transferred to the controller and activated. As soon as the trigger condition is fulfilled, the values are recorded in the controller independently from the TIA portal. The TIA portal offers a whole range of options for evaluating the measurement using curve diagrams or signal tables. The trace is integrated in the device firmware, so no extra hardware is required. And this is how it works in the TIA portal. Open the trace editor and create a new trace configuration. Choose the variables you want to record. Configure the cycle and duration of the recording. Then, if you only want to record signals after a particular event, define the trigger. With the pre-trigger function, you can record events before the trigger condition. Transfer the trace configuration to the device and activate the recording. The controller firmware does the rest. The recorded values are now loaded from the controller and displayed in a curve diagram for analysis. You can find tools for analyzing your curves in the toolbar. With the trace function, the TIA portal gives you a tool for analyzing faults in your plant in a targeted manner. Using the integrated web server, you can diagnose the faults in your plant easily via a web browser on your PC or mobile device. How about if, for example, you wanted to call up the status of a controller? All you need to do is activate the web server in the TIA portal. Now you can see the firmware and the serial numbers. Access the SD card. 
view the controller's LED status and use the controller's diagnostics function, including all components. This is also the case for all safety components and for faults right up to broken cables and short circuits. And there's no need to write even a single line of code. How exactly is that done in the TIA portal? Configure the properties of the web server in the controller's device view. Then activate the web server and assign the access rights, for example for performing diagnostics to the user. After you have loaded the change into the controller, you can access the controller via the web server using a standard browser. The home page now shows the current status of the controller. The topology page gives you an overview of the status of all Profinet devices in your plant. Clicking on a faulty device takes you directly to its module status. Detailed information about the fault is displayed here. The Messages webpage shows the current messages. Teleservice allows you to troubleshoot when you are away from the plant. If a fault occurs in a plant that's far away from you, what do you do? One thing is certain. Sending a service technician, perhaps even by plane, is expensive and most importantly takes a lot of time. Using the TIA portal to troubleshoot via teleservice is much more efficient. With teleservice you simply establish a remote connection to your plant via telephone network or internet connection, allowing you to use the complete range of functions in the TIA portal. The only additional thing you need is a parameterized TS adapter in your plant. Then you can use teleservice to monitor your plant online, for example, as well as to upload and download programs and update firmware. This works for all devices that are supported by the TIA portal. That's how easy it is to save time and money. How exactly is that done in the TIA portal? There are several ways to establish a remote connection via teleservice. For example, via online access and teleservice, you can set up a connection to your plant, then store the connection data in a telephone book, so you can quickly access it again whenever you like. Via teleservice, you can also establish an online connection to an individual device. In this case too, you can use the telephone book. Once the connection has been set up, you can work with the TIA portal as though you were on site. The TIA portal therefore serves as a tool that offers highly efficient support for troubleshooting, fault diagnostics and fault resolution.